You can thank your mother for the rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. This is the coffee bush kid in Central Vic. This afternoon, I'm out with the oh, the Equinox 900. I got the six-inch coil on, but look at the ground. So you can guess, there's my little pick, and my scoop. I'm going to go chasing gold today. I'm going to go chasing gold in Gold Two, uh, Gold Mode Two. Um, didn't find any last time I was in it, but I reckon I should this time. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and keep you out of the wind, it's a bit blowy, but I was talking to a friend you know, a couple of days ago, and he said, oh, have you tried back out in this spot? Now, this spot I have been out to, and I was looking for relics at the time. So I managed to snabble myself a cartwheel penny, and I reckon there was probably a I think I might have got a Chinese coin and a suspender buckle. So, you know, all the usual suspects. But, I'm still trying to keep it back to the wind. Look at these little piles. Like, this is all, all quartz. There's quartz reef working. Oh, look at that nice buddy. Bit, you know, you can see that there's a miner little bit of mineralization in there. Is there gold in there? Who knows? But surely out of all this stuff, we've got to snag ourselves a little bit. But we won't do it by talking together with each other. So, let's get out there and let's have a look. Now, I'm going to need two hands for this, but I'm getting in on the ground level. This was this pile I just showed you. But... <coughs> nice low numbers. It's pretty... Emphatic that it's there. Could be a shoddy pillow. Happy to dig it, but I'm going to need both hands, so we'll come back to you at the end of it. Geez, that sounds awesome. I've had 32s, 30s, I've had 98s. Oh, I've had the full gamut through here, but this, that's got my attention. Anyway, let's dig it up and see what we've got. Well, <clears throat> there it is in the scoop. You can hear it gives a thumping signal, but that is, whoops, that is, getting it back out there, only a piece of lead. But it's a piece of lead that's in an area that, well, someone should have bloody swung over this beforehand and picked it up. Anyway. We will keep going with the 900 and the six inch coil. Well, here we are again, got, just got another, I've moved into the shade. Uh, and we've got this one. Those numbers, but they, I also got up to 19. There we go. They squeal and high pitch, but it's, it's, you can hear a funny sound too. Whether that's a big nugget, who knows? But, oh, just another thing too, I'm using one of the, I'll say Volco mini picks with the wooden handle, cause I don't need to be digging big holes. Or I don't believe I need to be digging big holes, put it that way. I reckon most of my gold will be shallow. <clears throat> so whatever pick you decide to use, it probably only needs to be a small one. Geez, that's still squealing. Something else in there, but... I got a hankering for those low ones. So let's keep going. I can still do this, and we can do this together. Now the gold two mode is supposed to be from 
slightly more mineralized ground or difficult ground uh, and bigger gold so let's see I reckon we've shifted it. And I'll flatten that out just a bit more because sometimes you can bury your, your target deeper than what it was. Whatever it is, it's just there, I reckon. So this is the part we're going to have to turn you off. And I'll come back to you when I've found it. I'll see you in a tick. I think this piece of steel was what was playing with us. Some other but the signals in the ground but I think most of it's just mineralized anyway we'll keep going I just wanted to show you this signal it screamed at me yeah one shows varying depths all sorts of stuff but what it ended up being can anyone see it there in fact I'm trying to see it right I know where I'm looking now wait pick that up that's a couple of wire and uh, interesting that was in the leaf litter now just because something's in the leaf litter don't don't discard it because there's many a sun baker been found and they're always good for the uh, for your container so you got to check out everything that, that is repeatable. Anyway, we'll keep going, see if we can find some yellow shiny stuff. Well, here's a nice size repeatable target. Look at this one. I hope you can see that. In... Yeah, 15, 16, 17. Well, what it is, can everyone see that? Yep. That's a 22. That's a bullet. Lead. Light's shocking, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Lead. Yeah, had that been gold, we would have been bloody laughing. But it's lead, but still, it was a good repeatable signal. We found it in amongst everything. And by rights, if anyone's been up here with a good machine, they should have picked that up too. And we got it with the 900 in gold two mode. Anyway, we'll keep going, see if we can't find anything else. I was a little bit excited to go over this pile. You see all the old black glass, all the old beer bottles. And uh, yeah, they're all everywhere. So the old, this is a bit of a mound. There's lots of quartz and everything like that. I've got a signal in here. I thought the old timers might have been sucking on a few long necks and buddy got a bit slack at the end of the day as to what they were keeping and what they were throwing out. And after a bit of chasing, and it wasn't very deep down, we got that. Yes. It is only a shotty pellet. It's now just rolled off my leg to somewhere. I think it, uh, it's somewhere down there. I suppose I'll find it again soon. Um, but, you know, it could have been gold. We're in the right area. But uh, it's pretty marvellous what this thing will find. But anyway, we'll keep going, see if we can find something yellow. Well, part of me wants to dig this first and then show you after. But realistically, that's screaming. Oh. There we go, we've shifted it. Now, the reason why I was so interested in this one is because this 
is a shaft it sort of goes in and around with I suppose we're nearly conglomerate I don't know there's a hell of a lot of bloody quartz here but anyway this is where we're at okay let's see how we go doing this one-handedly oh, give me you right Well, it didn't take much and this would have been a bloody ripper. You know how it was all screaming at us? Well, that's the reason why. It's a piece of molten lead. Imagine that being a yellow nugget. Oh, that would have been bloody brilliant. But that's the reality of detecting. Now we're in the gold fields. We're just by a shaft, and all we're pulling out is bloody lead. Anyway, surely we've got to be smiled upon and at least get one bit. Well, just down here, you can see that I haven't scraped too far. It's probably about an inch, maybe inch and a half if you include the leaf litter. And what did we get? Well, we got that. Can everyone see that? That is the tiniest of tiny buddy shotty pellet. But it was a clear signal. Um, I don't know if sort of see the depth-ish there. But that's, that's pretty buddy amazing for a little shotty pellet. I'd like it to be a little nugget. But anyway, we're certainly not missing anything. So if I don't get any gold, it will simply be because I have not walked over it. Now what I will do, because I haven't told you about anything else. So we're in goal two, here we are. Now, it's running beautiful. I've got the sensitivity set at 20. Uh, so the Equinox 900 goes up to 28 for its sensitivity. And this is just humming nicely. If I was to actually go up more, you hear it's starting to get more erratic. If we went up that far, you're not going to find anything. But 20. Beautiful. Very happy with that. Anyway, we'll keep going. Well, this is a funny one. We've got a three. And so we've dug nearly two inches down. And again, we've pulled out copper wire but because of the twistings in it I can tell you that that's off the top of an old bottle and you'll go is that really true kid well this is where we are this is where we're digging and if we just look over here because I'm in amongst a whole lot of old bottles there's uh, the neck of an old green one and you can see how it's nearly square across there. And look, here is an applied top. And what have we got on there? There's the wire. Now that used to, or was used, for holding the cork down so it didn't explode. And these tops are called applied tops. You see how they're big and blobby and everything like that? So the bottle was made and then these tops were put on afterwards you know i've told you before but this is the a good classic example except they did a shitty job um our good old saying of we'll knock the top off a couple of bottles well what you used to be able to do was ugh, slide your knife or the back of your knife down the neck and you'd hit this applied top that still had the wire and the cork in it and boom off she'd go and so you just drink off your thumb with this broken neck. Not usually one like this, it would be a smoother one like that. So you'd, you know, you'd have your bloody thumb there and you'd drink off that and away you'd go. But yeah, that's what all this wire is. It's off, oof, a bottle top like that. And uh, yeah, they would have knocked the top off them. I've got one, of, I've got a full one at home, actually which is quite cool, that's had the top knocked off it. I hope they enjoyed the drink. Anyway, let's keep looking for the yellow. 
I will just, we'll do the warning talk. Like, you can see there's not much uh, mullock and build up and tailings around this particular hole. And you go, yeah, okay, that's, that's reasonably deep. Just be aware of any depression, because this is just a depression, isn't it? No. That's another shaft. Now, I don't know how far down it goes, but it would be a nasty experience to fall down through one. And there's not that much earth. I don't know whether we can see that well, but there's not much earth between you standing on top and you falling in. So just always be wary of depressions. Some you'll see, some you just won't. Beware. Well, I was just admiring this shaft. Let's see if we can do this. Let's fully really extend it. It's not going to show it at its best. It seems to be rather deep. Anyway, um, you can see the overburden around the outside of it. And just over here, while I was just ambling through, we got this distressing signal. Here I am! Here I am! I reckon we will pinpoint that with the oh, pinpointer, which is always a handy thing to have with you. I reckon... I reckon that's a 22. Mind you, it would be very... Oh no, it's even worse than a 22. It's a 22 shell. I think I'd rather find the 22. Anyway... There we go, that's what we found. We'll keep going. This is a great shaft, this one. If we look there, see the pick marks in the side of the wall? I reckon the old time we were standing over this side as he dug it down, because you can see the arc of the pick marks. That's absolutely brilliant. Now, if ever you were tempted to go down a shaft, in that one you can see the bottom they've dug down they've belled out just my advice is don't i know there's people that like to but look how that's just dropped down that could happen nearly oh, where are we at any time get out the way coffee bush that could happen nearly at any time. And you being down there is not one of the times you'd want it to happen. You see that crack? Oh yeah, oh look at it coming around this side too. Amazingly dug, when you can see all the, all the pick marks and everything. But uh, yeah, leave the old holes to the old timers I reckon. I'm heading back to the ute. There it is. Surely we've got to get lucky. And we got this. That's a nice signal. And the numbers are right. And I'm tipping it's probably not, not that deep. ground's certainly hard and compacted as it's been this way for a long time and we are still down in there so that's a good thing so I'll scrape that out of my way Oof. anyone cop that in the eye? I'd like a specie. It doesn't need to be a very big one, but it would be good if it was one. Right, we are out. A funny bloody sound to it. But, anyway, this is the point where I'm going to have to switch you off, and we'll come back when I've got it.
Ah, uh, we've retrieved the target. Some buddy kid with an air rifle pellet. Good signal, and yeah, we got that nearly two inches down. So, assume it wasn't a nice little lead, uh, gold nugget. Anyway, air rifle pellet. That's what we got. So I suppose we just have to keep going, won't we? Huh. This is a cool one. I had a. Oh look, it was a really funny clippy. Two, three. Now you remember my story of the applied tops and knocking the top off a couple of bottles? Wow! Look at that. That's the applied top that still has the tie on it and that's the cork that's still in there. See? I don't tell you bloody lies. I reckon they're bloody great. Nice, really nice piece of social history. It's worth nothing to anyone. But, you know, to find one of these things and know what it actually is and how a saying came about, and potentially an Australian saying, mate, that's a bloody ball terror. You can thank your mother for the rabbits. Yeah, and whatever other associated sayings you'd like to apply like a top but you'd knock the top off but then that that'll just go around in circles we'll keep going well, i'm on the downhill side of the diggings i'm playing over this side that's where i have been uh and i've got this signal too good to leave behind might be shot might not be, but I'll switch you off and we'll see what it is when I get it. Well, there it is. <clears throat> Another piece of lead. One of these days, these pieces of lead are going to be gold. Let's just hope I find one before a buddy fall off the perch. Anyway, we'll keep going. Well, I'm out on the area beside the diggings. You can still see the... Oh, it, it's just like... I don't know. How would you describe it? You, you've got to walk on the mullock heaps between all the holes. It's just that peppered. And then we come to this area. And you can see this, the sand and so forth. Whether this was washed, whether this was crushed. I can't figure it out because I can't bloody find any gold. But we did get this. It's a disc. I don't know whether it's copper, bronze whether it's part of a button, I don't know. We'll clean it up. It's an interesting find nonetheless. You can see how there is a bit of a rim around there, whether it was part of a livery button or something, two-piece livery button. I don't know, we'll find out later on. But we will keep going. Oh, we're gonna do the wrap up. So I hope you can hear me over the noise of all these cicadas, 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 Nah, you wouldn't have them with cheese anyway. <clears throat> so here's what we've got. All up for the time out. So, Equinox 900, go, gold mode 2, 6 inch coil. We didn't find any gold. But, I doubt that it was through lack of not trying. You can see there, there is an amazing amount of lead there. The piece that I'm most fascinated with is that little bugger right up there. We got that at what, inch, inch and a half? I reckon it's amazing. Whereas that's your normal uh, size shot that we would normally do. I got a button. What would one of our episodes be without one? Actually, we got two. This was what I just found. And it is... Oh, it is part of a two-piece button, and it would have just been a plain one. So anyway, that was a cool find. And then we found the beginnings of the same. So there's our little wire. There's our top that's been sort of knocked off with the wire still attached. There's the neck that's had the applied top knocked off it. Very 
deftly. And then there is our applied top with the tie and the cork still in place. Oh, you know, bloody brilliant thing to find. So, after you finish watching this, or even while you're watching this, you could knock the top off and have a frothy out of an Aristotle. And uh, give me cheers if you like. Ha. Anyway, we're going to call it quits on this one. Uh, as I said, it wasn't that the mode is bad, or it's just the pure fact we did not walk over any gold, but oh gee, we walked over some bloody lead. Anyway, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you finish. And I'll catch you next time.